Welcome to Geeker. Today I'm going to show you how to change the formula in multiple cells in Excel. So let's get started. Okay, in this example, I have a prepaid schedule that I've scheduled out for the next six months to show me how the payment should be allocated. Now, if you look over here in the remaining balance column, I have a formula and it's basically saying take the invoice total less the amount for each month that I've deducted. So now let's say we're in the month of March and I need to change the formula to also include March. Instead of going into each one and changing it to say I, I'm going to show you a very quick way to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to select your column, then you're going to come up here and go to formulas. Then right here, I'm going to click show formulas. Now, before I click this, I want to warn you, it's going to look a little crazy, but I'm going to walk you through this. So I'm going to click show formulas with that button. It's going to show you every single formula that exists in the worksheet. So now I'm going to find this column right here. Now, what I want to do is I wanted to calculate the sum of G2 to I2. So I'm going to hit control F, or if you're using a Mac, you hit command F. And then you're going to click and hit replace. Now, when you're doing a replacement like this, you want to make sure that you find something consistent within the formula. So I typically, if I see this here, I'm just going to use the colon and where it says H, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to say, you know what? I want to change that to I. And I like doing this because if there's something else in your formula that has these letters, again, find something that's very unique to that situation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all of the H's and I'm going to replace it with I. So I'm going to click replace all. Okay. And then I close. And then as you notice right here, they all were replaced with the letter I. Now to get it to go back, all I'm going to do is back here in formulas. I click show formulas again. And now you'll see that that's it. It worked. It now changed all of those formulas to show the I. I'm going to do it one more time for you. Okay. So again, we did, we select the column, we did formulas, show formulas. I hit control F or command F if you're using a Mac, hit the drop down, replace. This time I'm going to do colon I and I'm going to replace it with a uh, J hit replace all. Okay. Hit the show formulas again. And you'll notice if I were to go here and I click, now it's showing it all the way up into the letter J and I didn't have to go through each of these and replace the letter. I just did it with a quick find and replace and that's it. That's how we change the formulas in multiple cells in Excel.